Hey there Dev Squad, Fertis here and welcome back to my Blender 3D modeling tutorial series. Within today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how we can use the extrusion tool to add extra segments onto your mesh and then use that to further modify the shape that we're trying to make. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in. Now, when we're working with extrusion, we need to be doing this inside of the editing mode. And within the editing mode, you also need to have part of your mesh selected, whether that is a vertex, an edge, or a face. Now generally, when you're extruding, you are going to be doing that with a face. However, you can also extrude a line, and you can also extrude a vertex as well. But because you're normally going to be working with faces for this, that's where we're going to be starting. So press Ctrl and Tab to open up your mesh selection mode. From here, you want to select the face. And if you go ahead and select a face of your cube, we are then able to add an extra segment on the side here and control that. The way we're going to do this is by pressing E, as in E for extrude, and what this is going to do is add the extra segment. When you move your mouse, this is going to tell Blender how far out you want your extrusion to go, so how much additional mesh do you want to add, and also where do you want to add it to. So you can see here, I am easily able to add that extra segment on the side here. Now what you can also do is, instead of just moving it left and right, like you can see I'm doing here along our y-axis, what you can also do is press a button on your keyboard corresponding with an axis you want to move it on. So let's say I want to start moving it on the x-axis, go ahead and press x, and you'll notice now I'm able to extrude it on the x-axis, moving it this way, um, forwards and backwards in this case. Press X again, and what you'll notice, what I'm able to do now, is have complete free control over where this extrusion is going. So I can move it on any of the axes. So you can move these extrusions up, down, left, right, it's entirely up to you. Just press those buttons corresponding with your axes to do that. Now, when it comes to actually making these extrusions, what you'll notice is when you press E, that very moment it has actually made that additional segment. Now we can drag it out, but then if we press, uh, press right click, you're probably going to think that that has cancelled the extrusion. It hasn't. What it's actually done is added the extrusion, but it's currently in its original location. So there is essentially two faces there in the same place. And you can see this if I go ahead and press S to scale and then bring it out. And you're going to notice the original face is there, but the extruded one is also here. And what I could do is then afterwards move this out and you can see it's gone in this really cool foam, uh, sort of cone shape. So hopefully by now you guys are starting to see the power of extrusion and what you can do with this to really give you that extra power. What you can also do is when you are adding in extra pieces of extrusions, you can also press control and left click. So you don't even need to press E. So you can see I'm press adding all these extra segments. If I just hold down control and left click, it is going to add those extra segments for me. And what it's going to be doing is essentially just moving it to the location of my mouse as opposed to just using the axes like before. So if I go ahead and select this face that I've got down here and then control and left click, it is gonna make an extrusion out to my cursor all the way down there. If it's a bit too low, bring it up. You have got full control, but hopefully you guys are starting to see just what you can do with the power of extrusion. You can add extra segments so you can further manipulate the shape of your objects. It's really, really straightforward. Anyway guys, that is pretty much everything that I wanted to show you for extrusion. Have a little play around with it, try it out on your vertexes, try it out on your edges and your faces, create some funky shapes and I will see you in the next video. Once again guys, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Vertus, signing out. 
This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.